Saurabh, so uh, let's uh, start the snap for PERT and CPM. And you are going for, uh, I think, construction uh, management training job in uh, EIL, huh? Yes, sir. Okay. Saurabh, uh, what do you understand by project? The project is a temporary endeavor, which is... Uh, which uh, which lasts when you have to create a uh, a product deliver a product or a service and it consumes resources and uh, we have to manage it by various skills uh, such as the manpower and the technology which is required and in all it is temporary in uh, in existence mm. okay uh, so what are the typical resources being used in project uh, so in uh, projects basically some of the resources are manpower then money and materials and technology is also one resource what do you understand by project management uh, so in project management we use the, uh, the skills and uh, the skills and the scale to uh, to monitor and control the projects which are taking place and uh, basically when uh, we have to manage the large scale projects so project management is a skill required to do so mm. Now, when we talk about uh, PERT and CPM, they are the network techniques. Yes. Right? Can you tell me some more tools used in project management? Uh, so, so, one of them is bar chart, uh, also known as Gantt chart, which we use to monitor the techniques. Mm. And What do you understand by Gantt chart? So, in Gantt chart, uh, we plot the progress uh, of various activities in time. Uh, it is a horizontal graph. And if and if it is required, we can divide the uh, a particular bar chart into various sub activities, and it denotes the the progress at the time uh, and the expected progress. Uh, what we can expect as the time passes for each of the activities. Okay. Oh well, no! Tell me what is the difference in PERT and CPM? Uh, so CPM is a basically which stands for critical path uh, method. Is a activity oriented. Uh, scheduling technique and PERT, which is uh, project uh, evaluation and review technique, is a event based technique. So uh, CPM is basically deterministic in uh, deterministic in approach, and it is used in projects with, in which we know what will be the time consumed for each activity. And uh, per, and PERT, on the other hand, is a probabilistic technique, which we usually use for research based projects where we are not sure of the timeline. So here we get uh, basically three various timelines for each activity, and on and also and also uh, CPM is more used in the construction industry uh, than per technique. Can you give some example of per and CPM? Uh, so the uh, when we are constructing a normal uh, a normal building uh, for the uh, no, a, a convention. The technique basically where we split all the activities like let's say the piling of the building, the RCC framework and the interior works, they can be classified in the CPM technique because we are absolutely sure how much time will be taken for each of the sub activities. On the other hand, if you are research, if we are conducting a research, let's say on a defense project or a space project, there we will use PERT uh, technique where we will uh, give three probabilities, uh, a, a pessimistic time, an optimistic time and uh, modal time uh, where we can expect the activities to take place you know what is critical path yes sir how do you define that so critical path in an activity is the longest path uh, uh, of all the available paths longest in terms of the time consumed so what is the significance of critical path yes sir the significance is that if there is any delay in the critical path in the activities uh, which compromise, which uh, make the critical path, the entire project gets delayed, and there is uh, absolutely no float or any buffer uh, in the critical path. And also, when we are talking about crashing the project, basically to reduce the timeline, we our main focus is critical path than the other activities which can be delayed all as well. Mm. What do you mean by crashing the network? Yes, sir. so uh, when we have the a given timeline and a given cost for a project and when we need to reduce the time for a project then uh, for every activity there are two types of times available one is a normal time and one another is the crash time uh, basically we reduce the duration of an activity by increasing the cost input up to a certain limit 
so uh, what we will do what we do is in the project that we identify the critical path and we crash it uh, as as per our requirements to reduce the uh, duration of the project at an increase what happens to the cost during crashing uh, so there are two components of a cost direct cost and indirect cost so direct cost increases during crashing but indirect cost tends to decrease so what we get is that a duration uh, what we get a relation is that till some extent with crashing the total cost of the project declines and after which it again increases total cost is direct cost or indirect cost total cost is a sum of direct cost and indirect cost no material cost material cost is a uh, uh, direct cost okay okay sorob so i think uh, your level in part cpm is okay nothing to worry on that front but part and cpm is a very narrow domain ah huh? prepare more for material management domain prepare more for that Yes. Got it. You have to prepare more for that, uh, sir. Uh, so, uh, like uh, exactly in which area? All the topics related to material management, MRP, ERP, material okay. science, those things you prepare. Huh? Okay, okay, sir. Mm. sure. So, sir, basically, apart from CPM part, which we study, uh, we have project management in ESC, uh, ESC paper one also, mm. uh, conventional, uh, not conventional, prelim paper one. so can we refer to that also because because in some part of that can be relevant yes okay some part of that will be relevant to you okay revise that